the second type of reaction it is nucleophilic addition reaction nucleophilic addition reaction you can abbreviate as a NAR nothing wrong to abbreviate if you have some information smart starting letters you can use it but however it is called as addition started by nucleophile therefore the types of reactions you have to quote this reaction as a an type of the reactions with nucleophile reaction takes place example all aldehydes and uh, ketones undergo this reaction aldehydes and ketones undergo this reaction in addition to the cyanides and some acid derivatives and so on but main reaction is aldehydes and ketones as i said what is the characteristic reaction of aldehydes and ketones nucleophilic addition or the nucleophilic addition is shown by the which of the following compounds the first example goes to the aldehydes and ketones together you can say carbonyl compounds okay both the compounds together you can say carbonyl compounds now you see the the basic reaction like for example acetone if i take acetone when you are adding the hcn in which one side h one side cyanide the h goes to the o so therefore o will become oh and the entire cyanide is added to the carbon so the product form like this this is the final product so hcn added products are called cyanohydrin this if i call it as acetone so the answer you call it as a cyanohydrin of acetone cyanohydrin of acetone corresponding cyanohydrin is formed this reaction is also a, there is a double bond something is added the double bond has become single bond therefore this is an addition reaction in which a, now the only the difference between the previous reaction is that was a cc double bond this is a co double bond so this makes the fundamental difference when c double bond o is there before whether you add the reagent or not this acetone is liable to undergo open up and become into the plus and minus so this exists in the equilibrium or a, a polarized a, and unpolarized system and the polarized system will be in equilibrium so sometimes it will be with bond closed one sometimes it is open bond so many times c plus and o minus will be readily allowed that is um, available even though when hcl is not added also it will be available a part of the carbonyl compound will be exist in the form of the cation and the anion now out of the c plus and o minus if you compare o has got the two lone pairs uh, and a minus charge and this one so eight electrons are there whereas this carbon six electrons are there so, so six electrons are shows that two electrons less to the octet therefore this there is a than the carbon there is one problem is there whereas oxygen acquired eight electrons that is called octet rule according to the octet rule eight electrons whenever an element achieves there get some stability so with reference to the stability if you discuss the c plus has got some the instability is there and another one the carbon also if you take the periodic table both the carbon and oxygen both are electronegative only and the right side upper will be there an electronegative element if it becomes negative it is happy that means stabilized but this carbon is also electronegative but it has become a positive therefore it is destabilized or more reactive so electronegative with the positive charge so these two reasons one with this electron six electron that is two electrons are less to the octet another reason electronegative element with the positive charge these two points makes the carbon to have a less stability less stability and uh, more reactivity so that means uh, when you take the both c plus and o minus c plus is more reactive than o minus though when you add h plus and the cl minus simultaneously 
the cyanide minus is allowed first because the C plus is more reactive. It is more reactive first cyanide minus. So therefore, step one happens to be nucleophile. It is not the greatness of cyanide. It is the from the compound side it is allowing the, the cyanide first because the C plus is more reactive than O minus. So, first cyanide attacks then what happens uh, the carbon gets a cyanide oxygen will become minus charge and the two methyls will be as it is there is no participation of these two groups. Now, the H plus is added that is step step 2 step 1 step 2 is the electrophile always step two, two second steps will not have any much significance step one will make the reactivity are increasing decreasing fastness all that uh, kinetics approach and all that they uh, depend on the step one so therefore the moment uh, cyanide attacks uh, followed by the h plus takes place the completion of the reaction so what is the intermediate also in this intermediate the charge is not on the carbon it is on the O minus. O is electronegative and there is a minus charge. Therefore, comfortably it is stable. There is no much importance for the import carbon. This is the intermediate also. Previously, we had a carbocation in the electrophilic. That is very important because carbocations depending upon the stability which is formed or the migration of the carbocation leads to the rearrangements or cyclizations and so on several types of the discussions are attached to that. Here, there is no much uh, the discussion. So, electrophile nucleophile first attack followed by the electrophile the product is formed. The only important is here this is also a double bond like CC double bond. Why this is not undergoing electrophilic addition? The first reason is it will be opening and uh, like this plus minus structure always will be there. In this uh, plus minus that is C plus is more reactive or more reactive and less stability because of these two reasons that is why first nucleophile attacks whatever the nucleophile whichever the nucleophile that attacks and then reacts. Now, here the basically uh, how best the C plus is stable if you have a groups like methyl groups it shows inductive effect. So, stabilizes rate of reaction decreases if a phenyl is the resonance rate of reaction decreases if hydrogen sulfide hyperconjugation rate of reaction decreases big big groups of steric hindrance rate of reaction decreases. So, we have different types of the issues attached to this stability of the carbocation more the stable less will be the reaction it is starting material not the intermediate intermediate if it is stable reaction takes place more the intermediate is formed then reaction. This is stable means it is starting material the carbocation and these two are nothing but the equivalent is not it. So, the more the stable the starting material rate of reaction will be less therefore, more stabilizing groups which are stabilizes the carbocation will have a rate of reaction decrease. Therefore, you can say without any groups means formaldehyde is the first compound. So, the formaldehyde happens to be the most uh, reactive carbonyl compound toward toward this nucleophilic addition and when compared with all the com more the groups the complicated groups will rate of reaction decreases right. So, this is what a, a nucleophilic addition reaction the complications will take later.